Now it's no secret that social media has taken over the media world, especially TikTok. And today we're talking to a Latino Hispanic Canadian that has absolutely been killing it on the app. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us. How thank are you? Thank you for having me. I'm good. How are you? Now, my very first question to you is how do you wake up one day and decide, I want to make TikTok my career? Um, I think when nothing else works, <laughs> um, I tried going the traditional route with school, with you know the, the classic way that we all get taught, mm -hmm. and I wasn't too, I wasn't too good at that route. So I had to take an alternative route that I thought I was good at, and people would always tell me around that you know, like you're, you're funny, blah blah, blah. and um, yeah, and I just decided to go this way, and, and I'm happy it worked. What's he talking about? Ricky has too many wives. No, she grabbed me the one right there. The one right there, yeah. That one. That one right there, yeah. No, Ricky, déjala. Yeah, let her take your phone. And a lot of your content is about Latino parents, Hispanic parents, who we know are very strict. How did they react to you saying, I am dropping out of university and pursuing a career on social media? <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as you think they might react. I, my mom, um, my dad doesn't live in Canada, so mm -hmm. he didn't really have much of it. But my mother, um, my mother's actually really supportive. So it wasn't like traditionally what you would think or mm -hmm. what like you know what most Latino parents would be like. She was very supportive, and um, since the day I started, was always like best, by my number one supporter, basically. Yeah. Amazing. And now, like, talk to us about your content. It does get very much attention from Latinos, from Hispanics. Why did you decide? to go that route? Why did you decide to really focus on this niche subject of people? Um, I think when I went to Florida, um, they, they have a very big Latino community, so I feel like that it, it was a big driving factor, especially seeing my dad growing up. Mm -hmm. he, it's a, he's a very naturally funny guy. Just the accent, everything, it was just, it was a, it was a great, um, it was just easy to turn to when I, when I didn't know what, what kind of content to put out, you know what I mean? So yeah. And for a lot of older people, or people that aren't really you know, active on social media all the time, they don't really understand what it means to be a TikToker. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through a day in the life or what it really entails to be a TikToker? Yeah, 100%. Um, I wake up, um, I think it, it, it really just is how creative can you really get. Uh, a lot of brainstorming, uh, meetings with companies. Um, and yeah, that's most of it. Most of it is just kind of thinking of content and then it's filming content you know, things and thinking what other alleys to go through. You know what I mean? Yeah. And was there ever any backlash from, you know, are you making fun of my culture? Are you making fun of my accent? Um, I think at the beginning, more than now, people didn't really know I was Latino. I don't, I, mm -hmm. I don't know why. I think I look pretty Latino. But um, I, I, um, I would get a lot of like that. Like you're making fun of my accent or making fun of... But um, I don't know. I just think it's all in good good hearted my you know yeah that's pretty much it and how important is it for you as a canadian as a latino as a hispanic to kind of rep your community and, and help grow and help out businesses or help out people that are wanting to follow in your footsteps i think it's uh really important um to represent the latino community because i feel like um in movies and things like that it, it's not as prominent um that would be eventually the main goal and what i would want to go to um, and yeah, I think it's, it's super important, super important to uplift people who are were in my position as well and um, people who don't have a set path in the traditional sense and uh, could look at me as a sort of a staple for, for that. And was there ever a moment that you doubted yourself? I know it's so hard to get views, to get followers, to kind of get that snowball rolling. Was there a point in your career where you considered giving up? No, I can honestly say no because um, it was this or nothing. It, that's what I've decided. So I feel like if you're gonna take this path, it's a hundred percent or nothing. If you even have a second of doubt, you should think twice about going down this way. You know what I mean? And what's next for you? Stand-up comedy, hundred percent. Um, Stand-up comedy is the next step, um, and then maybe movies. Hopefully, we'll see. Amazing. Well, Lucas, thank you so much for joining oh. us. Thank you so much for having me.